Hey friends, welcome back to my daily vlog. I hope you guys are all doing good. The birds are chirping outside. We had a big rainstorm last night, so everything is feeling fresh today. It is a holiday, a ship, so no shipping today. No shipping in terms of mail outgoing, but even though that's not happening, I am behind the scenes today gonna sit down, play with my treasures here, the ones that you guys bought. Thank you so much. And my plan today is to sit here and ship them so that, or to pack them, I should say, so that when the uh, mail opens again tomorrow morning, they are off on their way to you. So if you didn't catch it two days ago, I think it was, man, time flies when you're having fun, here on the vlog, I announced that I decided to start an eBay reseller account because when I'm out junkin' and thrifting, I find amazing treasures out there and I decided that I can't keep them all, unfortunately. But what I would start doing is picking up a few of them and relisting them on my eBay, which I also integrated into my website. By the way, I get a lot of people who say, I can't find you on eBay. These are not on eBay. They are indeed on eBay, but I sell under a different name on eBay. I was like, what should I call my eBay store? I decided to call it Stanley Cat Curiosities. If you follow the vlog, you know that Stanley Cat is a wonderful family member around here. He's been with us for over a decade plus. He's an amazing cat. He's a handsome boy. And as I do my thrift flips, um, you often see him poking around, being all curious in the background. And so you've said to me, boy, you should do something that, you know, is a throw to Stanley Cat, name a paint, one of our Junk Monkey paint colors after him. And with this opportunity, as I punched in my name for my eBay store, I decided, you know what? I think this would be the perfect place to give a little shout out to the famous Stanley Cat. So, and by the way, here's a picture of Stanley Cat. Like I said, he is the most amazing cat. I feel like, you know, everybody says that, every parent says that about their kid. And I'm sure that every fur parent says that about their kitty cat. I just love kitty cats. And uh, I totally get why, why there's lots of cat figurines when you are out thrifting. It's because kitty cats rock. So it's called Stanley Cat Curiosities. I had this cool little logo done up and yeah, I, I think it's awesome. Matt came out with an idea yesterday. He said, you should do up some tags because that one of the things I wanna to do today is put in handwritten love notes with each of the treasures that I'm packing and shipping today. And he said, you should come out with a tag that says pick by Sonia. And I'm like, yeah, I should put Stanley Cat on there, leave a little place for me to write a note. What do you guys think of that idea? I thought it was brilliant. So stay tuned, that's gonna come up as well. I think that's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Um, but I decided to integrate my eBay with my existing Junk Monkey Paint website. So it's pretty amazing what you can do right now. And if you followed me for a while where I give you guys business tips or anything like that, I've always said that try to keep it simple because there's a lot going on when you are running your own business. And so when I decided what platform I would use, what marketplace I would use, I decided to go with eBay and I was able to integrate it right into my Shopify site, which I've, um, I sell through Shopify and have done so for about four years and I love it. It has a little app store inside of it. And so I was able to talk to Shopify and pick the one that works best for me so that they communicate. So what happens is I go on my Shopify admin side, I can um, take pictures, put up my products as usual, but there is a push button, meaning like a sync button, that the moment I do that, they're listed on my website, but they're also, is the word simultaneously? Boy, that's a big word. At the same time, it goes over to eBay once that button is pushed as well. So the cool thing is, you know, you're, you basically have two marketplaces going on. I what my store looks like on the eBay side, I put up a header at the top with that logo right here. It's just, just giving me a pop-up right now saying, hey, we don't recognize you. Do you wanna save this seller? And what do you think of my little header right there? It says, lover of secondhand finds that are whimsical, vintage and shabby, beautiful, browsing thrift shops for the unusual, weird, happy, and fun. Welcome to Stanley Cat Curiosities, named after our handsome cat who loves to poke around and is always curious. So you'll see that I just started it. So it's hard to find on this side, but I'm going to be watching from my Shopify side and everything that's here is linked, like I said, to the Shopify. If you go down here, if you click see all items, you'll see the rest of them. This just gives you a row. But I do have seven things for sale, seven things left. 
um, because everything that is sold on this side falls off, but you can still see the stuff that's sold on my Shopify side. So I like going to, and using my junkmonkeypaint.com side of things because I just find it easier and everything is all there and I can see the stuff that's sold. So if you're looking for something, you'll know it will have a sold sign on it. Pretty cool, right? So if you're somebody that um, typically buys your junk monkey paint and you're all about picking and thrifting and junking and finding wooden stuff that you can paint, that way you can get your paint and also buy any finds that you see here that you wanna put as part of your collection, like kinda of like I do over there. The fun stuff that you find that you wanna keep for yourself that just makes you happy. So I integrate it so it's all in one place. It makes it easier for me to uh, pack, to ship, to fulfill all that good stuff. And the moment that something sells on my web website, it disappears on the eBay side and the same thing. Anything that sells on the eBay side disappears on my website. So they're locked together. And that's really cool because I started to say how there's two different marketplaces because there's on my website, which is my main hub, my NASA control, the dashboard where I do everything from. But at the same time, by having my products posted for resale on eBay, it's a giant, how many people are on eBay right now? I have no idea. I just say a gazillion. But when you log in, it tells you like how many crazy is it millions of people I believe that are, that are over there so it just puts your product if somebody out there is looking for the very thing that you have listed I just happen to have a bear in front of me but if this was listed then they would find that so it's pretty cool right so I just say we just live in an amazing time where wow technology can really be your friend so today our one of our jobs is to pack it up the fun is treasure hunting. The fun is, yay, somebody else liked it too. I'm so glad. And now the fun continues because we get to put it in a pretty little package. So I've got out my designer paper. I've got my Sharpie. Ooh, what do I do with my Sharpie? Ha ha. And speaking of Stanley, I just get up to go get my laptop. And guess who is right there staring at us, getting ready, ready to lead us to the food dish? Do you want some food? Do you know you're famous? You have a eBay store named after you. Do you know that? We love our Stanley cat. Stanley was adopted from a wood pile. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you just hear my dog go, you said his name, don't say the cat's name. Thank you, Tammy from Florida who picked up, she purchased the beautiful treasure craft pineapple in green, vibrant green. Oh, I just love this. I would use this as a trinket, rings and things type of thing. Super cute, what a great conversation piece. But it was made in Hawaii and I'm learning. So hopefully you will learn along with me on this channel and any tips I can give out, like integrating your website with eBay, those sorts of things, I hope it will help you guys too. Uh, but this piece was made by Treasure Craft, and this was my first collectible piece that I ever found by this. We're making history together right here, people. And one of you guys wrote in and you said that there is a book that has been created by another YouTube creator, a book that has been created, a book that was written. Um, I'm gonna look into it and see, uh, and I'll share it with you guys once I locate it, but apparently it's all about treasure craft. So thank you for that tip. I did not realize that um, this was a whole collectible series. So, hey, if the series involves cute pineapples, count me in. Lori in West Virginia took home last night the vintage green puppy, the ceramic one, that we estimate to be about 1950s. Let me find it here. She's so sweet. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Look at him. Oh, those big puppy dog eyes. He take me home. Again, such a fun piece. I love the colors in here. Lori wrote in and she said this piece reminded her of collectibles that her dad used to get for her when she was a young girl. So I wrote back and I said, I'm sentimental like that too. I like to surround, my, my, surround myself, put in my home pieces that make me happy and things that give a nod to good times, right? Yeah, surround yourself with stuff that makes you happy and it's all good. Thank you, Bernadette, for adopting this beautiful blue metallic vintage what would you call it? I, I would call it a candle holder. I'm telling you, I'm seeing a beautiful white pillar candle in there. Maybe a few little holly berries. Sweet, sweet thing. So thank you so much. 
And also, I see that you also took home the Vintage Devar Original Japan Hand Painted Pair of Blue Ducks. Those gorgeous blue ducks, the chippy ones that I love that I almost kept for myself with orange flowers. If she's watching out there, she's probably thinking, I can't wait to get my hands on those. Do you see? Do you see why I like these? Um, there might be a little orange going on in here too. I love these ducks. Sweet Charlotte of Kentucky is taking home the sweet bird. Should we call him Bobby? He almost looks like a Bobby bird to me. I love Bobby bird. Just this beautiful one of a kind um, handmade piece of home pottery. Oh my gosh! This finding him just made me so happy. So I hope that when you guys get these finds and you unbox them and you put them in place and you have a good memory too, that yeah, they just bring a smile to your face because you can't have too many smiles. All right, Bobby Bird, you stay right there. And thank you, Julie. Julie takes home sweet, shall we call her Cecilia? Cecilia the Shabby Cow. And I see you got some milk paints and the Woodland Fairy as well. So have fun with those chippy milk paints. I uh, See, I can understand as a girl that loves chippy and shabby, the reason why you will be drawn to this, this picture. You don't even have to explain. I get you. I get it all. I will recycle some of our Junk Monkey paint boxes from our shipping. some junk monkey paint as well as part of this I feel like I should throw in some monkeys what do you think I think that she'll appreciate the monkey gift wrap I love getting things by mail that comes special not just like ping pong balls thrown in a box but I mean actually wrapped and wrapped with love Growing up, I used to be all about, <laughs> remember the days that they would uh, put addresses in magazines for people who wanted to have like pen pals? Can you imagine? We wouldn't do that today, would we? But <laughs> I remember growing up in back home in Newfoundland, we would get a magazine every month and I would always look to see if anybody had listed their address. And I mean, it could be from other countries. I have pen pals from all over the world. And I loved my getting my stationery, my pens, you know, coloring little things, the envelopes. I would draw rainbows and oh my goodness, all kinds of stuff on it would be a whole color thing. I'm sure as it passed through the mail, people were like, whoa, check out this. But yeah, I would never let an envelope leave without it being totally covered in color. And we would trace stuff inside, like things that were from where I lived to where they lived. I had pen pals across Canada and I mean, over in Japan, I'm just trying to think, all the countries over there, Ukraine, 
In fact, one of my pen pals actually found me and, I mean, found me on Facebook. Isn't that insane? And so now we're friends on Facebook. We've never met in person, but we, <laughs> oh my goodness, we were pen pals for so long. Her name was Marita. All right, let's go ahead and make it extra special. That's what I'm thinking. If I do up some really cool gift gift tags picked by Sonia, make them extra special. I love it. I just, I love doing this. It takes time though. Shipping is no small deal, especially if you want to ship it right nice. Like I said, you're not shipping ping pong balls and just throwing them in a box. This is stuff that's breakable, needs to be handled with care. And I have been shipping paint since 2014, every, pretty much every day of my life. And so I've gotten really good at shipping. So, but I can handle this. If I can handle paint, which is probably the very worst thing that you would ever want to ship, then surely I can do these sweet little ceramic pottery pieces, things that I find along the way. All right, maybe I should have put that on the other side. Picked, packed, and about to be shipped. With love to you, Julie. You know how I said yesterday on the vlog that this Santa, which I love, this distressed Santa right here, I got up to the register, he was 79 cents. On the back, I'm like, yes, we love a, just a distressed shabby Santa. And I started thinking I have these jars over here across the way, even dropping them down, dropping him down inside a clear vase and maybe putting some greenery around him. I thought that would be fabulous. But when I got up and I was just waiting my turn to put my stuff on the counter at Goodwill, I turned this over and I saw the bottom down here. So that's what I was saying where I need to figure out what to do with them. So I could just, you know, buff this off and put them inside and just use them as a little, you know, freestanding Santa. Perfect for a little shelf, right? Because he'd have something to lean up against. Maybe I'll just do that. The other option is to find or create some distressed style wood, paint it, and then put the Santa on it and make it into a wall decor piece, the wooden the wooden plaque. Remember those, bl those blue ones that I just went ahead and I stained over on Facebook Live? Maybe I'll do that and it could possibly work. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what I go on to do with Santa. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just con continue sitting here with Bobby the Bird. We are gonna knock it out and just get everybody's treasures on their way so you can enjoy them too. Although I hate the part with Bobby the bird. <laughs>